TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman sitting for Tom O'Brien. Yes, this is the Ever Everbank. Uh, the update right here at 10 o'clock a.m. in the Eastern Time. And we're looking at a Dow that's down 98, was down much more. And last night, in fact, the futures were down almost 300 points. So this is a good comeback. And of course, you remember, buyers keep coming in. No one believes that this is going to go down. Uh, so that makes uh, for a market that is a stair-step move. And I'll show you the charts in a moment. If you're looking at the charts, you will see. Left side here is the Dow daily chart. It went underneath the 200 period exponential moving average. We went to a low this morning of 17,564. I believe the 17,500 is absolutely critical. This is the cushion area. This is the, the support. This should be a trampoline area. If ever there's going to be a, a rebound that's sustainable, you also see that in the weekly chart, you got this trend line. I call it the Chapman Wave inside track. This is the support level. This is that the level that must hold because as soon as you start to trade underneath 17,500, this is fresh territory, and you've got this candle right here, the candle of uh, the 6th of February that goes down to 17,037. So you've got to be real careful here. Now, a couple of things. Um, the, the Dow has resistance. If there's a really strong uh, rally at some point in the next two days, a bounce, I'm going to call it, you're looking at the 17,007, uh, 17,690 to 17,007, Mm, what can I say, 730, 750 area, that's going to be critical. A close above that says, hey, we could try to test the 17,774 nine period exponential moving average. Let's just run these quickly. You've got the S&P. The S&P is down 10. It too was down very sharply, but it did not take out the low of last week of 2056.42. That's a good sign so far. In the weekly chart, it's underneath support, but what's critical is that the uh, S&P must not trade in the 2020s at any time this week, because if it does, it's going to go much lower. Uh, resistance right here is in the 2078 to 2081 area. You've got the QQQ series. I'll do that rather than the composite, because um, most people look at the Qs. The Qs are acting quite nicely from the from the, the gap down. They're down 33 cents at 107.60. 107.90 is resistance to 108.30 and critical support 106.64. But I'd like to go to gold right now. Gold is trading. Um, it is. It was uh, down last night. It was up actually about seven or eight points. It pulled back. Now it's up $1.60 at 11.65. 11.71 is the critical nine period exponential moving average resistance that it hasn't been able to close above for at least uh, three, three weeks. We're looking at uh, a high grade copper, high grade copper, of course, is a sign of economic strength, and it shows economic weakness here at 2.52. This is really critical. The fact that it broke the 2.55-ish area support is not good, but the week has only just begun. Let's see where it goes, but it has um, certainly broken down the daily chart. The weekly chart says it better hold over the coming week and a half 2.40, because that's going to be very critical left side low support. When we go to the dollar, and of course the dollar is really critical here because the dollar showed strength last night. It did go to a leg E in the Chapman wave. It's got a rising trend line resistance at uh, 96.82 and it's at 96.45 right now, up 34 cents. It must hold the 95.70s to the 95.30 support if there's any sudden sharp pullback because the euro is rallying. I'm not sure what, what would get the uh, euro to rally that strongly. Right now the euro hasn't taken out the most recent low of 1.095. If it does take that out, that's very negative. It's trading at 1.103. Now we're going to go to the bonds, and I'm going to go to the TLT because the TLT um, had a very good reflex rally last night. It's made a gap to the upside. This is, to, to me, this is just sideways trading um, as is the Japanization of our bond yields continues. What's really important is that um, within this time frame, one, uh, 119.50s is really the level that needs to be reached to be able to say, hey, I'm going to be able to, this is T, the TLT talking, I'm going to be able to rally strongly enough to, to break into new area. So this is the 10 a.m. update. Thank you for being here. 
If you're like me, you're always looking for ways to diversify your financial portfolio. Everbank's innovative market safe CD can help you diversify while protecting your principal deposit. In fact, Everbank unveiled a new five year market safe power metal CD, which combines the power of gold, silver, and copper. Metal prices are currently low, so this CD could really deliver. Consider the facts you get exposure to three valuable metals in one index CD and have the potential to earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if the metals increase in value across annual pricing dates. And should they decrease? No worries. There's zero risk to your principal here, as you still get 100% of it back. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. No annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest is paid on the CD. Intrigued yet? The July 9th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD for more information, including important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN hyphen CD. Everbank is a member FDIC.